All right, Liberty has fast-tracked that transition to big-time FBS football. And as Eric Johnson reports, the Flames are ready and waiting for their inaugural campaign. An expanded stadium, a new season, and a new era. The Flames make their FBS debut in 29 days with high expectations as they aim to respect all and fear none. I expect us to compete. Uh, I expect our fans to see our guys competing hard every single uh, play, uh, hard working, physical football team, uh, and then we let God uh, take care of the results. The offseason was exciting, and Liberty hopes to bring it to the field, returning a core group of guys on offense, including quarterback Stephen Buckshot Calvert and leading receiver Antonio Gandy Golden. This has been a long summer, a lot of hard work, a lot of fun, so we're just ready to see. If we could transfer that to the season. It should be really special this year. We got a lot of guys coming back and a lot of guys that uh, are willing to step up as young guys and play a, a big role. Liberty has 20 additional players on the team thanks to more scholarships. It's an area the Flames hope will pay off as they welcome in tougher competition. We're not really worried about any of the competition. We we'll respect them, but we won't fear them. We're ready to compete with whoever and whenever. And, you know, that's our mindset. And that's the mindset I think the whole team has to have coming into the season is, you know, we're fighting. It's going to be a dog fight every game, man. We're going to be ready. Well, there is going to be this transition uh, going on, but I think I'm using the word competitiveness. Uh, it's my job and our coach's job to make sure that we go out here and be competitive in every single football game to the best of our ability. With the FBS status, Liberty now becomes bowl eligible, and in fact, they have a bowl tie-in agreement with the Cure Bowl down in Florida. In Lynchburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.